the 2K Sports pregame show. Greetings, everybody. Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson here with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. And on tap tonight, it's the Cleveland Cavaliers going up against the Pistons in Detroit. Well, for Detroit, one of the things they'd like to accomplish, getting good shots. Maybe easier said than done. Defenses are quick to adapt, but they know that that's what gives them the best chance to win. And tonight, we get to see one of the faces of the NBA, Blake Griffin. He's battled a number of injuries, but Kenny, he's still one of the league's better power forwards. He gives you a lot of things, Ernie, and I really believe if he didn't get injured early on, he would have been higher in the MVP voting uh, last year. Terrific passer, tries to improve his range every season, now shooting threes. Kenny, what are you talking about? Everybody gets injured. Let's just talk about how he adds a physical present. You know, it's too bad him and Chris Paul could never reach the finals together. Well, I'm not going to argue with that. Me either. You don't want to argue. That does it for us. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you later. Knock you out. Mama said. Welcome, everyone. Let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by the talented analyst tandem of Greg Anthony and Chris Weber. David Aldridge is on our sideline. We're in the Motor City as the Detroit Pistons plan to take advantage of home court. And with pregame routines coming to an end, we're just about ready for our tip-off. First, though, let's get a report from the sideline and say hello to David Aldridge. Thank you very much. Now, Blake Griffin is new to Detroit, but he feels the blue-collar nature of this city suits him just fine. He said, hard work was instilled in me at a very young age. The very base of my game has always been physical. Guys, back to you. Well, Detroit is happy to have him, David. Thanks. Well, compared to the rest of the league, uh, see web both these teams play at a very deliberate pace, not not up and down, but they're they're thoughtful in the way they attack. Yeah, and we usually see this style of place more on the East Coast. And there's nothing wrong with taking time to run through the offense and make sure that you see every option. If you keep the ball moving, it can wear a team down on defense. Very rarely do you see a team play defense for the full 24 seconds of a shot clock. Good perspective. Let's get a nice clean game, huh? And it's the Pistons to start out. And a look at the starters for the Cavaliers. Love is the four with Thompson in the middle. Sexton is out there with Brandon Knight. And it's Osman in at the small four. Now, here is Knight. Following the miss by Griffin. And it's Osman missing. See Webb, the Pistons from 2003 to 2008 with six consecutive trips to the Eastern Conference Finals and one title. But in the decade since, only two playoff appearances and zero playoff wins. Well, yeah, think about it. The 2004 title team was led by Joe Dumars, who won championships back-to-back -back with the Pistons. Uh, you need that type of lineage. Think about Boston, Danny Ainge. Think about the Lakers with Magic Johnson. Well, the Pistons need that type of consistency. They need a leader. Uh, the Pistons, once again, hoping to find that magic in chemistry. Jackson looking it over. 104 left in the first quarter. And that one's good. Drummond. And the play is all about Drummond and his solid fundamentals. Just taking his time and getting a high-quality chance as a result. Knight, and he uses the glass on the layup. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. Well, that opening right there, that's just because the defense failed to rotate. To the inside, and it's Drummond with the jam. Well, you just got to respect the leaping ability of Drummond, leaving the floor effortlessly, throwing it through the hoop. And a tremendous Unleash Chaos replay coming to you courtesy of Under Armour, Hover Havoc. Now here's Knight. Sexton kicks to Knight. Shot clock at five to the paint, and it's sent back by Drummond. Oh, and throughout his career, Drummond has averaged more than a block per game. He really goes all out on defense. The shot's good from Ellington. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Here's Sexton. 
The pass to Love. No good that time. And we reached the end of the first quarter. Pistons lead by six. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. One of the most dominant big men in the league, Andre Drummond, says he's learned how to be a leader on this team. Watching previous guys who've led this team and did the things that they did, I write that kind of stuff in the back of my head and just say, you know, this is something I need to do this. Or if I see something I didn't like, you know, this is something I probably will stay away from. And I think now that I'm in a role where I could kind of lead this team, I kind of have the blueprint on what I need to do to make this team successful. And, you know, Greg, with Blake Griffin, he's got somebody to take some of that leadership role alongside him. And those two will be pivotal in deciding just how good this team can be. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from Detroit? Playing smart in this first period. Credit their unselfish play. Uh, always a good strategy. Get as many people involved as you can early on. You've got Maker. Griffin is out there with Kennard. Then there's Ish Smith. And it's Galloway in at the two. That's the group for Detroit right now. Here's Nance. Detroit with the rebound. We've got 118 left here in the second. And Blake Griffin said early in his career he used to rely on his athleticism to get by. He said the problem was every season he'd be worn out by February. So diversifying his offensive game has helped him to kind of withstand the rigors of a long NBA season. Now here is Della Vadova. He's tightly guarded. Over Smith. And it's Della Vadova missing. They have a chance to go two for one here. But let's see how they play the clock. He gives them a double-digit lead. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. The Pistons shooting their first free throw of the contest. And it's been an average year, really, at the free throw line for this group, only around 75%. Here's what Detroit's going with right now. Drummond's checked in for Maker. Robinson comes in for Langston Galloway. And it's Jackson in for Ish Smith. Cleveland also making some changes. Marquise Chris, he's checked in for Zizic. Osman comes in for Nick Stauskas. And it's Sexton in for Matthew Delavidova. I love watching Griffin play the game. I mean, he has a lot of confidence in his abilities. He's terrific at staying aggressive. The Cavaliers trail by 11. So timeout, timeout, timeout called here, the first for Cleveland. Yeah, you know, some of it's shot selection, some just bad luck, and they just can't get anything going. Well, this is the dilemma as a coach. You wonder, do I need to call a timeout here? Do I need to settle these guys down? Should I let them play through it? Kevin Love's checked in for Cleveland. Knocks it loose and stolen by Drummond. Griffin attacking. They double team Griffin. Pass to Robinson. And Griffin scores. The assist from Robinson. And it's seven points for Blake Griffin. And what concentration from the veteran. I mean, it's clear Griffin is used to having a hand in his face from down there. Now Clarkson, he's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Just five on the clock. 
shot to stop the run. A crafty player inside. Back to the basket, facing up. It doesn't matter to love. He could take you either way. And so we wrap up the first half. Pistons ahead. They're up by 11. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks. Dwayne, you're ahead. How do you keep this up for the rest of the game? Well, uh, maintain the disposition. I think we got to have a tough mental disposition against this team because they're going to keep playing. They know how to play the physical game. We did a good job in that half. We've got to maintain that. Okay, thanks for your time. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, folks. Good to have you back. Ernie Johnson with Kenny the Jet Smith and the Big Diesel, Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome to the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Detroit finds themselves ahead after two quarters. They lead by 11. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on Detroit? Well, Kenny knows about this. I used to do this to his team all the time. Take advantage of you down low. Mismatch. Barbecue chicken alert. Make good entry passes. That led to some good looks. Obviously, a lot of points. When you control the pain, Ernie, you control the game. I was the master of controlling thy paint. Shaquille Kiss. And uh, Kenny, what'd you see from Cleveland? Well, obviously, they were outshot. I thought they mailed it in too many times in terms of their effort. People weren't moving, they weren't screening, and they definitely weren't hustling. They need to hit the ground running to be competitive in the second half, or they could get blown out. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Just go over there. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Blake Griffin really making a difference here. Oh, well, they've done a good job of letting the game come to them and really few four shots here so far. Terrific first half on offense. This is how you draw it up. We'll see if they can maintain that efficiency going forward. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. So on the floor for Cleveland, the forwards are Osman and Love. Brandon Knight is out there with Sexton. And it's Thompson in at the pivot, manning the middle. And a tremendous Unleash Chaos replay coming to you courtesy of Under Armour, Hover Havoc. Drummond dishes to Griffin. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Big time scoring is always a premium, Chris, when you're evaluating players on the offensive side. What do you hope to find as you kind of break down their game? I hope to find that you find can dribble, shoot, find and pass. Because if, if you can do those things and you're a great scorer, then I know that if you get double teamed, you can find an open man. That if you have the heart of an unselfish player, that you're willing to think two, three plays ahead of how to set someone else up that's struggling. Because a great player can always get their own. And also on the offensive side of the ball, are you careless? Or do you value possessions? Do you make easy turnovers? And if you do make a turnover in the offensive end, what is your temperature like defensively? Will you run back and get back and try to get a stop? What type of player are you overall? Great offensive players are result-oriented, not necessarily seeking individual numbers or acclaim, and, and that's, that's a big part of my evaluation. Langston Galloway's checked in for Detroit. Smith comes in for Reggie Jackson, and the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Ante Zizic is checked in for Tristan Thompson. Nance comes in for Kevin Love. Stauskas is checked in for Knight, and it's Matthew Delavidova in for Sexton. Now here's Drummond. Here's Griffin, and finished off by Griffin. Oh, we've seen this before, I mean, from Griffin. His dunking ability is off the charts. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Delavidova, the pass to Nance. Kicks to Stauskas. Here's Zizic. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Just five on the clock. 
Out of bounds. Detroit takes possession. Luke Kennard, he's checked in for Wayne Ellington. A switch here also for Cleveland. Clarkson's checked in. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Kennard. Here's Drummond. Dishes it to Griffin. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Griffin's got six points in the quarter. Oh, wow. Capable of scoring in many different ways. As soon as Griffin catches fire, he's hard to put out. Here's Clarkson. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. There's no lack of aggression on his part. When he's got the chance to score, he'll take it. And so is Detroit, looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. Back right after this. Now let's take a listen on head coach Dwayne Casey. Solid defense wins this game right here. All right, getting stops and take whatever offense gives us. Keep moving the basketball. Stop. Well, just taking things one you know step at a time, Greg, imploring his guys to be smart with the ball. A sound strategy. Dwayne Casey proving what a great communicator he is. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four. The big man are Griffin and Drummond. Jackson is out there with Kennard, and it's Robinson. In at the three, the small forward. That's the group for Detroit right now. And, and Blake Griffin drastically cutting down his mid-range jumpers. I mean, think about this. Instead of just, just mid-range, he's stepping out beyond the three-point range. Uh, but I guess the percentages stack up in his favor. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. The first one falls. And Blake Griffin said he isn't going to fall in love with a three-point shot. But, Chris, he wants to shoot it with confidence when he's left open. I mean, think about power fours in today's game. I mean, they're almost expected to have three-point range. He's, he's still a threat in the paint, though. I don't ever think he'll be a spread for, but, but certainly a welcome addition to his game. He doesn't get the second one. And 6'10 forward Marquise Chris, the eighth overall pick in 2016 out of the University of Washington. Yeah, you know, Kevin, it, it was almost like he took a step back in year two. Uh, the guy's an athletic pogo stick, but you're going to need more than just size and leaping ability if you want to succeed in this league. Here's Jackson following the basket by Colin Sexton. Here's Griffin. And that's a foul. It's called on Reggie Jackson. That's his first foul. Now he continues to flourish from these in-between spots. I mean, Griffin, he knows he can sink it. Wayne Ellington's checked in for Detroit. And then for Cleveland, Tristan Thompson comes in for Chris. And it's Jetty Osman in for Jordan Clarkson. Timeout called Cleveland. They're down by 14. 122 left in the game. Sexton kicks to Love. Now the dish to Sexton. Love inside. Griffin on him. Knight on the wing. Ellington defending. And it's sent back by Drummond. Knight for three. Hits the three-point bomb. 
And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for the Pistons. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. And, and we'll just watch the clock wind down, guys, in what will turn out to be a win here for the Pistons. You know, a team can have a great shooting night without getting a lot of assists, but tonight they had both. Yeah, and listen, you only get the assist if the guy you give it to makes the shot. So a lot of assists will up your field goal percentage, but this is a great team effort by everyone. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Blake Griffin. There wasn't much they could do to slow him down as he was converting every good chance he got. All sorts of time. Sexton grabs the board. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. Well, I, I like the decision making, though. I mean, that's a shot you want to keep taking. Well, wide open look for Love. Yes, and Knight with the assist that time. Uh, for so long, Love has shown how valuable a big man with range can be. Outside Jackson. And so Detroit takes this one by a big margin. Some good moments throughout this one, but they have the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Blake, very strong game offensively. What gave you the confidence to take over? I'm just putting in the work and my teammates, honestly, believing in me and telling me to be confident at the end of the game. So um, I owe a lot to them. They, they came up with big plays. Um, just everybody working together. Very good win for you tonight, Blake. Congrats. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And we'll see you next time.